my channel. Today I have for you another Thread Up goodie box. And this is a favorites goodie box, which means you go online to their site, click on shopping, and be sure and check off my home warehouse and then favorite all the clothes that you like that you would want to receive and they will include them in your favorite goodie box. All right, let's dig in and see what they sent us. And inside the box, you have your list of clothes that they send you. There's 10 items. It'll list the retail price and the thread up price. And you get in the bag a label to return anything you don't want. Okay, let's see what's in the box. I see a lot of black, which would be something that I check off. Um, here is, looks like a long maxi dress. Let's see, it is by Market and Spruce. It's a size 2X, estimated retail $71, thread up price $23.99. Okay, another black item. Okay, a dress. It is by Torrid, size 2X, and let's see, retail, estimated retail price $62, thread up price $24.99. Is Tor Torrid an expensive place? Okay, we got some red, or is it pink? The lighting in here is bad today because it's kind of gloomy outside. But I think this is red. It is a dress. It is by London Times, size 2X. Hmm, estimated retail price $95. Thread up price $28.99. And now we have some pink. It is a tank top. It is by New Directions, size 2X. Retail $36, thread up price $28.99. Now some blue. is a dress. It's from Talbot's and it's a size 20. I like the feel of it. Um, it's a 20 petite. Retail price $139. Thread up price $34.99. Next item, this is a, like a maroon color, and it is a tank top. That's pretty. It is by Apartment 9, size 2X, retail $36, thread up price $28.99. Next item is this orange. If I can get it on right. This must be the back. Yep. Is this orange blouse. Looks like it has fluffy sleeves, which I like. Some detail in the back. It is by New York Collection. It's a size 2X. 
Estimated retail price $71, thread up price $25.99. Next item, this is one of the more, more recent ones that I checked off on my list. This is a black and white dress. You can see the print there. Looks like it has a tie in the back. It's by Gilly. Um, it's a size 2X. Retail is $48. Thread up price is $20.99. Okay, next item is, yep, that's what I thought, a pair of skorts. And this has tags on it. Wait, no, that's a thread up tag. Yeah, that's a thread up tag. Okay, these are by Croft and Barrow, and they are size 16. They're black. Uh, retail $27. Thread up price $18.99. And it does say stretch on it, so I hope they are of a stretchy material. Last item is a pair of black shorts. They're by Talbots. It says girlfriend short. And they're size 16. On the tag it says sits slightly below the waist. These are black. Um, Talbots. These are estimated retail $69. Thread up price $16.99. Now I can tell you, everything was on my favorites list except for these shorts. Um, and I wouldn't have picked these because, number one, I don't really need shorts right now. And number two, I don't think I would have picked these kind. But everything else was on my list, so let's try them on and see how they fit, see if they look good. Okay, first one is the Gilly dress. Pretty basic, nothing, you know, real special about it. It is extremely a stretchy material. I do like that it has this tie detail, although I need to tie it tighter, but... The length is good, not see-through, doesn't show lumps and bumps. The material though, um, this is something I would wear in the summertime, not the winter, unless I was really hot, which I usually am, but generally summer dress and I don't know. It's kind of, it feels hot. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I could see myself sweating in this like crazy. Okay, next is the Talbot's dress. It does have a zipper on the side here. material, it's very, very stretchy. The material is like active wear material. Um, I like the detail. I like that it doesn't show too much cleavage. Doesn't show the lumps and bumps, not see-through. It is just a tad, just a tad too big though. If it were just cinched in just a little bit, it would feel so much better. Right now it feels like it's just a little too big, like things are sagging. It just needs just a little tuck. But I do like it. 
Simple, but nice. Okay, this one is the one by Torrid. Fits well. Um, I actually probably wear it without the bra because this, you know, would hide it, which it's got little uh, poofies on the end. And that goes all the way around. It does have adjustable straps. Great length. Stretchy. Another kind of, you know, basic one, but it fits well. Okay, this is the one by London Times. Um, yeah, this side is longer than this side. It's a faux wrap dress. This one also feels just a little too big. And it does have little loops on the side over here. So it obviously came with a belt, which is not included with it. It's extremely stretchy. <sighs> I don't know, this one, no. Maybe if I had the belt with it, but without the belt, no. Okay, here is the last one that is a maxi dress. Pretty sure it's supposed to be a cocktail dress. It does have pockets. It's got this nice slit here. And of course it's too long on me, but I expect that. Um, I would have to make the cleavage a little, I'd have to tack it there. As it is, it shows my bra. It's that heavy evening gown feeling that makes you feel secure, but again, it's a little too big. It's extremely stretchy. It has an elastic waist. I really like it, but I feel like I'd be adjusting all the time because it's just a little, little too big. And then I wonder if, you know, I could fit into a 1X, being that these are 2Xs. But I doubt it. I mean, I have to order 2Xs because of these things. So, I don't know. Love the pockets. Love the slit. I don't know. Okay. Now I have on the skirt and this tank top. Check the tank top first. It is a little gappy right there. Other than the gappy, I love this. I do love the look of it. It's not stretchy, hardly at all. Just the gap edge. Hmm. Oh well. Now the skirt. As you can see, it comes above my belly button. My belly button is right there. It buttons and zips. It does have front pockets. And a skirt is shorts underneath 
which looks like a skirt on top. If you didn't know, I'm sure everybody knows that. Fits well. It is, um, very, very little stretch. Not a whole lot at all. Although it fits me great. Um, it's, I think on the description it says denim skirt. It's not denim, but it is a thick material. I kind of feel like it's bunching in the crotch there, like I'm wearing a diaper. And then in the summertime, you know, I'd be hot and I'd be sweating there. And I'm not so sure this would work for summertime. I think I need lighter, airier material. I don't know. Okay, here is the pink top and the shorts that I did not favorite. Um, the pink top is a definite no. Look at the side there. Yeah. Let me stand back and show it to you. It looks very sloppy. The front has... Um, this lacy in the back is plain. Um, I don't know if you call this high-low or what, but it just it looks, it looks sloppy. I think even with a pair of pants it would look sloppy. And definitely can't wear a bra with it. Oh, that one's a big fail. Here are the shorts that they picked out for me. They are very, very stretchy. Um, matter of fact, they're probably so stretchy I'd be pulling them up all the time. They do have pockets, back pockets. They have a little fold right here that is permanent, sewn in. Yeah, no, I, I no. I'm just not ready for these kind of shorts yet. I don't know. Um, the the skirt. Let me show you. I didn't know it had all this on it. I told you the front had pockets. The back also has pockets, and it has a side pocket right here. I love all the pockets on these. I might wear these for a little bit and see if I grow to like them. But this outfit? Nope. Okay, last item is this three-quarter sleeve blouse. Fits well. Not stretchy at all. Um, let's see. It is kind of see-through. Love the flowy sleeves. Don't like them with the shorts, so there, imagine pants. I like the back detail, stripe across. Love the sleeves. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sit down on the floor and do this part because I am hot and I am sweaty from trying on all those clothes. Sorry, my ear itched. Um, it was a pretty basic looking box. The only thing that really looked different was this top with that 
you know, strap in the back, whatever you call it. Um, gosh, I don't know. I'm learning by getting these things in what I should favorite and what I shouldn't favorite. Uh, I'm also learning the different brands and how they're made differently, uh, how they fit on me. So, I mean, I'm learning something. I'm not sure what I will keep yet. Uh, some things I'm going to try on without a bra and see how they look. Because more than likely in the summertime, I'm not going to be wearing one. But, yeah. I did like the long dress, but I would definitely need to cinch in the sides, make the elastic smaller, because it was too big. Um, I don't know. I'll keep trying. I keep clicking on my favorites. Why they won't send me the really cool stuff that I click on, I don't know. But, yeah, we'll see what we get next time. I'll do another favorites box. So, that was it for this video. If you like my content, be sure and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. And leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye.